Hey everybody, how's it going? Jamie Wagner here again. Uh, what I have here is my Google Nexus 7 2013 second generation tablet. It's the latest tablet from Google and it's running Android 4.3. And uh, what I want to do is just, uh, you know, discuss a little bit, show you a little bit of how the accelerometer sensors work um, in the tablet. Basically, they're small sensors in this tablet. And as you rotate the tablet into a portrait mode or landscape mode, you know, it, it makes use of those sensors. So basically, in order to get this to auto-rotate like I just did, you need to go into your settings. So go into your settings, um, scroll all the way to the bottom, and it's going to be under accessibility. Over here on the left, select accessibility. In the list here, you're going to see where my thumb is, auto-rotate screen. Just make sure that's checkmarked, and you're good to go. Go back to your home screen and your tablet will react to how you tilt it. So if you tilt downward, you can see it flips upside down. Those are the accelerometer sensors working in this uh, tablet. Uh, basically, I have a game on here called Labyrinth Light, and I'm gonna go ahead and play that quick. So again, this game uses a lot of the sensors of the accelerometer, and they're very, very, they're real accurate. I mean, it's real responsive and very accurate. So, so that's a game, and these accelerometer sensors also allow us to watch things in YouTube in a landscape mode or a portrait mode. So, that's what helps us to watch our videos in landscape or portrait mode, the accelerometer sensors. So basically they force the operating system, you know, like if you move this this way, it's forcing the operating system and software to respond. And then it'll just, it adjusts this display to match the new orientation of how you're holding the device. So basically that's it. I just want to talk about the accelerometer, show a couple examples. You know, if your tablet's not functioning like that, um, you may want to contact the manufacturer or take a more in-depth look at how to test the accelerometer. Again, this is not a video to test it, just kind of a basic video to showing you how to use the accelerometer. Um, and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for watching.